we have this carbon dioxide molecules which are vibrating in two different ways. So here carbon molecule is at, so carbon atom is at rest and oxygen atoms will vibrate like this. And second, both the oxygen atoms will go in the same direction and carbon atom will go in opposite direction. For both these systems, we need to find the ratio of frequencies. So let's calculate independently omega 1 and omega 2 for both the systems. So to solve this problem, we are going to do this. Uh, first part is pretty straightforward, but second part we are going to solve with respect to 1. So that we did in 4.58. So if you want, you can go and look at that problem and then come back here because same concept we are going to use here. So first is pretty straightforward. So because the carbon is at rest, let's say the displacement of the oxygen molecule or oxygen atoms is just X. So both of them come to a distance X. So force on them will be KX. So with respect to ground, we are doing this. So displacement of M1 is X and restoring force is KX. So that directly means omega is 2 pi root M1 by K. Now let's come to the second problem. So this is the initial position and not initial, I mean this is the equilibrium position. And then both the oxygen molecules will be di displaced by X and let's say carbon molecule dis gets displaced by distance Y. Now we can calculate the relation between X and Y because by taking the, assuming the masses of carbon and oxygen, but let's not do it. Let's do it in a better way. So yeah, this atom goes to left by X. This atom also goes left by X and carbon atom goes right by Y. So this spring is stretched by X plus Y. You can see that. And this spring is compressed by X plus Y. So let's write the forces on this atom and this atom. So on this atom, the because the spring is stretched, the force will be towards right and that will be K X plus Y. And on carbon atom, the forces will be because of both the springs which are compressed. So K X plus Y because of this spring and K X plus Y because of this spring. So this is the only force on this atom and these two forces are on carbon atom. Now we are going to analyze this with respect to one. So let's find the acceleration of one. So we can add the pseudo force on carbon later. So this gives, this is the force. So this gives acceleration of one is equal to force upon M1. So now with respect to one, the pseudo force on carbon will be towards, this acceleration is towards right. So pseudo force will be towards left. And that will be M2 times this acceleration. And these two are the regular forces which were already present. So we have got three forces on this carbon atom with respect to one. So now restoring force on two with respect to one. So F21 is equal to summing up all these three forces that gives this. Or so F2 with respect to one, we can write as M2A. And this gives some constant times X plus Y. Now you can see the displacement of carbon with respect to ground was Y, but with respect to one, the displacement of carbon is X plus Y. Because when we are analyzing with respect to one, we have to add its displacement also in the opposite direction. So this moved towards left by X. So with respect to one, the carbon moved right towards, uh, toward carbon moved right to a distance X plus Y. And then there was pseudo force. So the displacement of carbon with respect to one is X plus Y and this restoring force is also on two with respect to one. So we can say that this is the equation of SHM and this is the omega square. So this gives omega to be this. All right. There was the ratio of frequencies. I think you can do that. Yeah.